Uh, in terms of uh, first topic, dock workers uh, are disrupting operations at major uh, West Coast international ports over a labor dispute. The National Retail Administration is calling on the administration to intervene in negotiations to solve that labor dispute. We also have UPS workers that are currently uh, voting on whether or not to strike if they don't have a new contract by August 1st. Does the administration plan to intervene in any of those labor disputes? So when it comes to the West Ports, uh, I can say that the president respects the collective uh, bargaining process as the best way for workers and employers uh, to reach mutually beneficial solutions, which he, we have said before. Uh, and uh, Acting Secretary Sue and others in administration are regularly engaging with the parties, encouraging them to stay at the negotiating table and finish their work. Uh, but the path forward is uh, for the port workers and their employers to resolve the negotiations so that workers get the wages, benefits, and quality of life that they so deserve. And so that's what we're going to continue uh, to, to call for, asking both parties to come to the table so this can be, uh, so this can be dealt with. As it relates to the U UPS, you know, we're of course aware of the strike authorization vote that that occurred, uh, which is not a vote uh, to go on strike. But again, to be clear, strike authorizations votes sometimes occur during collective bargaining to demonstrate the so so solidarity of the union members in support of their negotiation team. So we're hopeful the parties can reach an agreement on, and satisfy both sides. And so again, the president uh, respects collective bargaining process, and he believes that the, the best way for workers and employers to reach an agreement that ensures workers get their fair fair benefits uh, and quality of life and wages that they deserve. So I'll leave it the there. the administration play an effective role uh, with an acting secretary at the helm of the Absolutely. Labor Department? Remember, this is an acting secretary that was a deputy uh, secretary under, uh, uh, under Secretary Walsh for the first almost two years. And so we have complete confidence in, uh, in acting secretary Sue, and uh, she has as you know, strong relationships with these uh, different labor organizations, and we we believe that uh, with her leadership, uh, certainly uh, she'll uh, she'll she'll engage in a way with the parties uh, that'll be effective. And then, real quick, 